This is FYI on your TV brought to you by Hometown News. I'm Kathy Botham. I have got Emma Kinsman back with me from the Lanark County Interval House. You are a social media and communication specialist. Welcome back. You've been here many times before. Yeah, thank you for having us back again. And we've got a new guest on FYI, and that is YJ. And you're all the way from Toronto today. Thank you for joining us. You are with uh, the Rideau Fine Arts. You're the Associate Artistic Director. Thank you for joining us all the way from Toronto. Yeah, thank you. So happy to be here. We're going to talk today about the Pebble Mosaic that they're planning to put in in Smith Falls. Uh, let's talk a little bit about the ones that we've already done, Emma. You've got uh, one in Elmont and one in Carlton Place. Let's talk about that. Yeah, so this is our third time that we've worked with the Redefine Arts team. We love working with them and we really enjoy the project. So um, we have a pebble mosaic in Carlton Place just beside the town hall. And we have the newest one, which we unveiled in last September, is in Almont next to the old town hall. And they're so beautiful and we usually use them for gathering spaces in the community. We have we had our Truth and Reconciliation event on September 30th at the Mosaic in Almont. And we use the one in Carlton Place as a kickoff spot for our our, um, take back the night event so it's really an awesome spot to have a place to gather in the community and it's just beautiful just to go down and look at it yeah they're beautiful they are can't touch it you can't touch it <laughs> no you can't touch it oh yeah, you, you can't can touch, touch it, it. You can, oh you, you can walk on it Tristan would say you can drive a truck over it like they're built for to withstand lots of time and and interaction well, and actually, it was last night I was looking on on your Facebook page of how you put them together too and and it's Maybe YJ, you can talk a little bit about that too, because it's it's almost like puzzle pieces. You've already got something drawn. I'll, I'll let you talk about it. Yeah. So the process is uh, it's pretty interesting. We create um, we create these these frames so that we can build them uh, in community, sitting at tables. So not really the kind of we don't have to be down on the ground, like actually placing the pebbles in the ground, which is really accessible for inaccessible for lots of people. Uh, so we build them in frames on a table. And what we do is that we fill the bottom of those frames with about an inch of sand. Uh, and then we take our pebbles and we just, we nestle them in the sand with the, the side that will eventually be like seen in the mosaic facing downwards. Um, and so we fill the cast the molds with with um, with sand and pebbles, uh, and then we pour uh, sort of a, a concrete mix um, to to fill to fill what's in the frame. Uh, and then once those have set, we flip them over, take off the molds, and then we wash away the sand to reveal the underside. So we're actually building it kind of in a in an upside down process. Okay. Does that make sense? Yes, it does. Now that you explain yeah. that, I just assumed when I saw the way you were building it, that was the top was what I was seeing, but you actually flip it over. Yeah, it's actually kind of a, a mirrored version when we're actually building it of what will be seen in the end. Okay. Now you you are involved. You were involved with the one in Elmont and with Carlton Place, but you do them all over too. It's not just uh, the Lanark County Interval House that you help uh, put mosaics together. Yeah, we have a Redefine Arts uh, and myself. We've done a number of, of pebble mosaics um, in Toronto and Treaty 13 territory. Uh, and currently this summer, we're actually also doing another pebble mosaic project um, linked to the Renfrew County um, inquest that's happening. So that, that's called the Renfrew County inquest um, public art response project. A mouthful, but um, that's a project that we're doing to engage community members uh, and have people gather um, to just connect and um, and talk and, and create space for healing. Excellent. I don't excellent. know if you want to say more about that, Emma. Yeah, the inquest is ongoing, the Wilco inquest. Um, Erin, our ex executive director, is testifying. Um, she's there in Pembroke today. However, with the proceedings, the testimony it's getting pushed back. So I'm not exactly sure when she'll be testifying, but she is there and um, we are really uh, hoping for a good resolution. Yeah, as, as part of that project, we're actually gonna have one big uh, nine foot in diameter pebble mosaic and then created with communities will be over a hundred small pebble mosaics that, that might be um, installed in Water Tower Park with the large mosaic in Berries Bay and or I think some people might be able to take them home with them. Wow, I mean, these uh, pebble mosaics too, it's, it's a place to go, it's a place of healing, it's a place of thought, it's a place of, you know, uh, just to be able to reflect too. Yeah, yeah, and the process of making them I find is uh, like A, with being able to, to gather with community um, and also to do this just really, um, I would say accessible art form and really like tangible 
um, practice of, of working with stones and, sta and sand and like really solid materials. Um, personally, I find really kind of meditative and, um, and healing. Okay, so and when you're really putting together a, a mosaic like this too, is, is, uh, is there a, a theme? Is there an art theme? Like they, they're all different. So how, how do you go about that process? And I'm going to throw that out to maybe it's going to be a different answer for both of you. <laughs> Well, I think the process is really, really cool and really unique. So um, basically the community comes together and each person contributes. They come up with designs and words, poems. Um, and then Anna, the lead artist, will take all of the elements that each community member comes up with and combines them into one design that's unique to the community, but representative of a lot of community members and their ideas. So I think that's really, um, really unique and just really powerful. It's so it's so nice for um, victims and survivors of gender-based violence to see that their community will come together and um, work on this mosaic that honors them. So it's a really unique process to have a little bit of everybody and to show that your community stands behind you as a victim or, or survivor. Absolutely, absolutely. And you, you know, I keep talking about going and visiting it, but I mean, the, the, the whole uh, putting it together it has got to be a, a healing process too. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, that's absolutely. Yeah. So can we talk about, uh, you've, you've put one in Elmont, you put one in Carl Place. Can we talk about the Smith Falls one? We don't have it yet. Uh, what, what is in the, in the plans right now, uh, you know, getting together, uh, talking about it, where it's going to go, a theme, how do you put it together? Can we talk about that, Emma? Yeah, absolutely. We're so excited. So we finally have a location. It's going to be in the town square, which is being renovated beside the library and the town hall. So it's going to be right in the heart of the community. People will see it as they walk through town. And I think that's really important because I think people who, you know, for us, we have um, victims and survivors of gender-based violence. We have violence on our minds at all times and we're working to end it in our community but um, for other people it's something that they might not even know is prevalent in our community so it's really nice to have it be brought to the forefront of people's minds who might not be thinking about it um, and as I said it's a collaborative process so we have um, four events coming up so we have one tomorrow which is going to be um, a design process so even if you're you know you don't have any art experience you're welcome to join us and um, I personally am not the best at art, but I enjoy contributing and it doesn't matter if you're, <laughs> if you're not good at it because um, everyone is helping. So um, we have uh, that coming up tomorrow and then Friday we have a second event, which is also um, a collaborative design process, but that's when we'll see the proposed designs by Anna as well. And then July 14th and 15th we'll be doing the build, which is kind of like doing a big puzzle. So it's pretty fun and it's good for all ages as well. All right, so the, the, the events on July 14th and 15th, the, the uh, people watching this right now will be able to, to be able to attend that. Unfortunately, the ones we're talking about right today, today and, and Friday, it's going to be after we air the show. But um, how do you get involved? How do people get involved? Yeah, you can check the Redefine Arts Facebook page or you can check Lanark County Interval House on Facebook or our website, www.lcih.org. Oh, okay. Awesome. Now, YJ, you, you've been doing these things. Uh, like I say, you, you haven't just done the Elmont and the Carlton Place ones. You've done other areas. I think we were talking about Bancroft. You do a lot of traveling to do this. You're quite committed to this type of thing. Yeah, lots of traveling. Um, I personally find it really, really nice to be able to spend some time outside of Toronto in the summer. Um, yeah, and, and gathering with people, doing workshops. Um, I think you were asking you were asking earlier a bit about like the, the design process and how we come up with the design. Mm -hmm. um, and we did have some online workshops in May, uh, and then our in person workshops this week. And that's where we do we do simple art making activities and writing activities to just generate generate themes and images and ideas um, that Anna will then take uh, to create a proposed a proposed design. Um, and so in the past, imagery that's come up has been like um, trees, uh, circles, like spirals, um, just like shapes and colors that come up. Uh, in Bancroft, we have uh, an eagle in uh, the design. Um, and so the, yeah, the imagery and the actual design is really generated by community members and, and by, um, you know, what comes up when we think about our hopes for a future without gender-based violence. And, and, you know, I'm, I'm hearing it in your voice, too. I mean, you, your background is art. 
but you, you must hear a lot of stories and, and, and know how much you're helping people by doing this when you're attending things like this and putting it together. Yeah, I think we really, um, we do hear a lot from folks about just stories of like impact from this project and um, what it, the opportunities that it provides people to actually talk about gender-based violence and um, and connect with other other folks and other survivors. Um, and it's a project for people of, of all genders um, and all ages um, and all backgrounds because um, gender, gender-based violence does affect everyone. And, and that's, a, I think, a core um, uh element to our work yeah yeah and i mean it, it, you bring this talent to the table but it, it's uh it's so needed I, I appreciate what you're doing for people and uh and sharing your talent in in this way in this way so Thanks, when Kathy. when are we hoping uh it's going to be done and people can go visit it emma we're having the unveiling on september 2nd so um, we hope the community members will stop by. We'll have some speakers and some performers. And then anytime after that, you'll be able to stop by at your leisure and check it out and, uh, you know, honor um, victims in our community and survivors. Excellent, excellent. Now, I, I just have to ask this too, because I was watching uh, on your Facebook last night how to put them together. It's almost like they're puzzle pieces and then you were flipping them over. Do, do families get involved? Do children get involved putting these together? Yeah, yeah. So in the molds, we actually have the design sort of traced out with mm -hmm. marker. And it's, again, it's like kind of a mirrored version of this of the design, but it's a little bit like the, uh, what do you call those? Like color color by number. Like you can see, you know, which parts need to be in uh, orange stone and which parts should be in, in black stone or white stone. Um, and there are, you know, artists, associate artists and artist facilitators who are there to support the process and to invite anyone in. You don't have to have any arts experience. Um, you don't have to have any mosaic experience. And it is for people of, of all ages and all genders. Yeah. I, I just think it would be such a wonderful experience for, you know, young and old to, you know, when they see that uh, on September 2nd that I had a part to do with that. I did something. And in years to come. I helped put that together. You know, if a young person or an older person said, I, I helped put that together, I think it'd be a great and an amazing experience. So yeah. I look forward to it. September 2nd, we're going to have an unveiling for that too. So Emma, while I have you here, June is Pride Awareness Month. How's it going in the Carlton Place area? It's going so well. So um, Lanark County Wide Pride and PFLAG, they've put together some great events and um, Lanark County Interval House has been really thrilled to participate. We have our executive director, Erin, will be participating in the Reading Rainbow activity, doing a Pride story time. That's coming up next Tuesday, the 21st. Um, we also have quite a few other events coming up. There's a Moulin Rouge drag variety show, and then the whole Pride Month is um, culminating in the Come Out and Dance event. So there's still lots of exciting Pride events coming up if you, everyone wants to get involved. And you can check our social media for those dates and uh, definitely check out Lanark County Wide Pride as well. Uh, we had some members of the, the Lanark County Wide Pride here on our show last week, and uh, it's, it's so nice that they're collaborating, you know, and we're all so close together, Perth, Smith Falls, Carlton Place, we can work together, you know, and, and uh, make it bigger and better when we work together. Absolutely. Yeah, that's great, that's great. So is there anything else going on at Lanark County Interval House? Actually, I, I have to ask you this too, because it's Lanark County Interval House and community support now. Yeah, so we had a little addition to our name. Um, I think in 2019 was our 40th anniversary, and it's just to be more representative of what we do as a as an agency. We have lots of community outreach programs and uh, various things in the community, so we just added the community support so that everyone knows what we're about. And I think it's so great that people like you and Aaron, everybody sees your face. They know that you're from Lanark County Interval House or just Interval House. You know, they, they know that you're a resource. You're out there. You're talking to people. You're at events, you know, be it pride, anything. You're, you're always out there and doing things. So people see you out there and, and people need a resource. And when they can put a face to it like you and, and Aaron, it's, it's amazing. Yeah, we're happy to be members of the community and supporting our community members as well. So That's right, that's right. Well, YJ, uh, you, you're helping us with Smith Falls with this mosaic pebble. Uh, you're doing another one as well? Yes, we're also partnering with Maggie's Resource Center in um, Hastings Highlands to create uh, another countdown pebble mosaic, which will be installed in uh, Kamenisk Lake Lookout. 
Excellent, excellent. Well, it's, it's a lot of work and a lot of commitment to, to uh, helping people, and I appreciate it. Everybody appreciates what you do. And you as well, Emma. Thank you very much for being here. Thank you very much, both of you, today for joining us on FYI. We've got YJ. Uh, he, uh, you're the Redefine Arts. Uh, you're Associate Artistic Director. And I've got Emma Kinsman. You are with Lanark County Interval House and Community Support, and you're the Social Media and Communication Specialist. Thank you very much for joining us today, and thank you for what you're doing for our town of Smith Falls.